Hey guys, it's okay be here. It's Thursday. It's a new week. It's in uh, well, we have a new Fuku, and Fuku this. Okay, so I think for some people it's bad because they don't want any ninjas. They already have six pass Naruto. Renin Festival Kurosuji isn't really that good, anyways. Um, but Christmas Kushina is quite good. But I think some people don't really want her or really th have a uh, use for her. But she actually is useful for infinite illusions. Um, all three modes are infinite illusions, depending on your team, I guess. Maybe, okay, two modes. The Trial of Heart doesn't really, because Sai doesn't really use uh, Chakra. But um, Trial of Will and Trial of Strength, Christmas Kushina can help you in both. And so just that alone will actually make her useful. But in a one versus one situation, not really. So the ninjas are Six Pass Naruto, Rinder Festival, Kurtsuchi. Christmas Kushina. Obviously, go for Success Naruto first if you don't have any position one ninjas. Um, but there's also Battle Power Pack 4, which is probably um, refines or training potions. One of those two is in there. And that's all I care about, really, um, when I'm looking for, looking for the highest value. Uh, so, in terms of, you know, if you guys want, if you guys don't have a lot of time to watch, then uh, Lucky Star is going to be the best event. Um, unless you have something you want in Kona's Great Tree, but Kona's Great Tree, I don't. Uh, I'm getting Christmas Kushina, and they have Christmas Kushina in the Konos tree, so I'm not that happy about it. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I think Lucky Star is better than Konos Great Tree in this one. And particularly, there's also signs of Susno Itachi having breakthroughs here. Um, I don't know if it's just them throwing it up there randomly, or if it's because they actually will have Susano Itachi breakthroughs. China doesn't have it yet, at least not that I know of. So there's no guarantee here, but... The fact that they're putting them here, putting him here, means maybe he'll have some other use in the future. Um, who knows? Because without without any breakthroughs at the moment, he's kind of weak. Okay, so that's the general overview, and then now we're gonna go over each of these events one over one. And yeah, I'm gonna be spending. Um, I'm gonna be spending today. I have like a whole route of things um, that you guys can take a look at. Uh, here, like I had a whole bunch of ninjas, power only perhaps, or ninja this, ninja that, what I should try for fun. Um, yeah, I, you know, I even considered Vizero Sosanade because, well, I have 27 fragments of her and eh, she's pretty good still. No matter, uh, okay, maybe not no matter what team, but most teams would benefit with her there. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Infinite Illusion, I'm, I'm going to skip this, but. Yeah, they still have Tendo, uh, Pain. Wait, Pain? This is Six Pass of Pain, right? Yeah. Um, Ten Tails Obito. Yeah, Six Pass of Pain. I'm I'm seeing Ten Tails Obito beat him. So, uh, Ten Tails Obito is still better. But uh, he is more useful in some of the modes. Uh, he could be like a little counter. All right. But yeah, that's, that's forever. Uh, total Recharge Rebate. Okay, so 500... Hundred thousand so far. I like all the power items, um, so any of them are good at the moment. Though I, one thousand is probably better value than three thousand. Mm, no, actually, it's about the same if you include the five hundred. So I guess we're fine here. Um, but then we have this new okay kimono Kakashi. Um, I looked through his abilities and they're actually really good if you know how to use them. Let's let's go up top to bottom. Right, mystery is deal lightning damage through combo paralysis to seven units. Causing interruption, irremovable paralysis, which neglects immunity. So it's like running on Sasuke. And then he causes knockdown. Um, and he does this to seven units. Wait, hold on. He causes interruption. All right, so he only, he, only, he only causes irremovable paralysis to one unit. But he causes paralysis to other ones. Um, that's quite good, but his mystery is not his best point. So we go down to his, sha uh, his standard, and this is like a combination of his abilities. Summons one or two Kakashi clones. For every Kakashi clones present in your lineup, your lineup uh, mystery chakra cost is reduced by five, which is pretty weird, because um, there's only like ten chakra around, maybe. Whenever Kakashi uses his mystery, for every Kakashi clone present in your lineup, heal yourself by 10%. Okay, that's nice. Um, you heal yourself a little bit more. Reducing your chakra cost a little bit doesn't matter that much unless you have a very specific team in mind. So, so far, individually, it's not that good. But then you go to the chase. Um, chase and attack a unit under Immobilize, Torture, Dream, or Sleep. Causes damage, cancels all buffs and shields, and teleports that unit out of the battlefield until the end of the next round. What? Okay. 
let me let me let me illustrate this for you guys okay um if i have kakashi and i have who someone who causes a mobilize immediately ah that's right ibiki do i have ibiki here i hope i do uh, i don't have ibiki but yeah ibiki if you take a look at ibiki's abilities um like he's like the perfect example like causing torture to somebody it's kind of ridiculous it's this is a ridiculous ninja ibiki right Suppress target immunity to debuffs, absorbs their chakra, um, deal unmissable damage to both sides based on his max life, and cause torture until the end of the next round. Okay, now that's great. I mean, if you put him in position one, though, he hurts himself, right? And he also causes torture on himself. So you got to remove it yourself with status reflect or something, which makes him not such a good po position one ninja. But if you add in Kakashi's effect and you just chase that, you basically send your positions... You're, you're, you you send your opponent's position one to into the other dimension for like two rounds, and that's ridiculous because you can just kill the rest of the team in those two rounds. Maybe, maybe you won't. If, you know, chances are you won't. But like it's it's insane because you have like a, this huge edge up against everyone else, and you guys can just throw in like wind main and reset your mystery, and then just hit it on your opponent's position one again. You know, the, by when they come back. So this is insane, right? Now, Ibiki is like a good example. Um, he's probably the only example I can think of that hits through dodge. That's important. But you know, you know, with like Obito, right? Obito doesn't have dodge. Tendo's Obito doesn't have dodge. Um, so if you hit, if you do anything like, I don't know, someone who just automatic fire main, fire main. Uh, I'm, I hope I'm, I'm get, I hope I'm reading this right, right? Um, if I have like something like fire main here, and I just do something like uh, seal jutsu, cause immobilize, and then I have summer Kakashi chase that, um, then Kakashi will just Kakashi will just send him to the next realm or something, and then fire main could just I don't know. You can skill him with the rest of your ninjas and just deal a lot of area standard attack damage, and you'll be fine. Something like that. Um, you know it. So Kakashi. In my opinion, in this is insane. <laughs> just yeah, insane. Now he does get uh, extreme and feeble after using the skill, which means the other, the rest of the team your opponent has will probably deal a lot of damage to you, and that's a risk. But it's worth it. <laughs> it's so worth it. Um, yeah, I I don't even know how to. I I I don't know. Just I don't know. So. Um, <laughs> That's just insane. Now, I don't know if this works if you, if you get status reflected. But if you're using Fire Main, um, you do two status effects at the same time. So I don't know if Immobilize will be status reflected or the other... I forgot what the other status effect is. But still, that's insane. <laughs> this, I mean, this could be like... This could make all the metas require some status reflex just to prevent this ability. You know, removing this guy... She's... Okay. Um... Anyway, I'm getting way too excited about this one ninja. It can be triggered once per round, which I honestly think it should be triggered once in a battle. Um, uh, or maybe twice in a battle at most. Still, like, it, you know, chase... And, you know, this never misses. It removes all buff shields, um, doesn't miss. And it, I, I don't think it's affected by control. If it is, then I guess it makes sense. But, Wow. Okay, he also deals damage, neglects a small amount of resistance. Not, not, like, not like that even matters. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, uh, the rest of it is just whatever. Low knockdown. Kamui tag. Oh, Kamui tag lowers their uh, dodge by a certain amount. Um, that's actually pretty good, too. In paralysis, added on. Um, and then his last passive ability is he's immune to debuffs, which is great. Units attacking him suffer from paralysis and a 45% chance of suffering from Kamui Tag. Um, for every unit under Kamui Tag in the opponent's field, increase his defense by 5%. That's just a little bit of a bonus. It's not a huge deal. So, but like that chase is insane. <laughs> um, I just, you know, I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but if this can work and you can throw in something like Ibiki and just take him out of the game, imagine what would happen. You know, just, yeah, you, you need status reflex everywhere if you, if this is going to happen. Okay, um, the rest of the stuff, 
you know the ninja is definitely worth it i'm not i'm not even mad about the magatama anymore because the ninja is just crazy um but yeah this is total recharge total totally worth it okay you know flowers <laughs> you know that's the most exciting thing i think of this week um not the spending all right fresh you know flowers fresh flowers it's also a really good week for spenders um not just because of the recharge now there's the eno flower and the eno flower uh okay let's see here we're gonna go over here um and we'll see that you know flower oh it's here let's see if, if you get first place um you will need to okay you'll get 10 tails madara 25 fragments 10 tails obito 25 fragments which i think is pretty good um Great Ninja Orochimaru, he turned out to be better than I thought. Um, I thought that he wasn't able to summon the barrier, but he still got the defense um, resistance. So, you know, that was even better than I thought. Taka Karen is pretty good. Uh, Fifth Hokage Sonate, we haven't seen that in a while. It's more of a 3 versus 3 Ninja or a 2 versus 2 decisive bonds to heal everybody or heal a lot of people. Um, yeah, because Sonate, I think she heals, Fifth Hokage heals more than Preserosa Sonate, I think. But she dies faster. And then there's a Toad's Chance Jiraiya, which is totally worth it. I would probably choose that over... Okay, well, hold on. Toad's Chance Jiraiya is only good for people who can play with initiative. So, yeah, it depends on you. And then the, there's a Mokubu optional pack, which I highly don't recommend. <laughs> um, but then uh, if you're in second, third place, you can get the same rewards, kind of, except you have Green Ninja Obito, uh, Meow Chika Soto, which not really. Well, yeah, yeah I, I don't think Meow Chika Soto is that, actually that good. Um... And then Granger Obito is always nice, though. Uh, Tendo's Obito, Tendo, Tendo, no. Christmas Kushina in here, which is actually in the Fuku as well, so might as well not do it. Um, second and third place is not that good unless you like you want Tendo's Obito or Granger Obito. Okay, okay, yeah, Granger Obito, Tendo's Madara, Tendo's Obito. You know, those are the um, those are what you can get from Eno Flowers. Um, and I think the amount of flowers it's required is 250, so it's not too bad. It, sometimes it's 350, sometimes it's 250. 250, 250 is not bad at all. And I think whales might go for this just simply because of the Tentails Obito fragments. Maybe they'll want to get a new breakthrough or something. Who knows? Okay. Um, golden Eggs is great, uh, even though the Tentails Modder is not the best meta, but he can still be useful sometimes, like in Infinite Illusion modes. Um, or he's suppressing immunity to status, also pretty useful in Five Natures. So you, could, you guys can try that. 2,000 coupons. Chances are you're going to get it if you max them out, right? Um, advanced production vials is nice. New refines, training potions. Yeah, this is, you know, whenever you get golden eggs and when you have to recharge to get the hammers, but um, it's always worth it. It's always nice, though. I guess don't expect the top prize. And I'm, I'm not expecting the top prize. So if I did spend, um, if I did recharge, then I would have actually done all these hammers, but I don't have any. Um, but yeah, these are tech definitely worth it in terms of value over lucky stars even. Okay, Fuguroma steals. I, I mean, I kind of went over it, but yeah, I got too excited over other stuff. Um, let's see. They have fairly good power items. There's always something you don't like, or like is mediocre, like Miyoku Boos. Um, there's always a little something I'm like Yeah, at this point, this is just average stuff. Usual stuff. Charms. Um, I do like the 30,000. 30,000 is always good. So yeah, Command Flag. Nice. Uh, ultimate Treasure Assets. So yeah, I mean, overall, 4 out of 5, right? I like the Ninja, though, so I'll give it 4.5 out of... Okay, I mean, there's a Magatama, so still 4 out of 5. Uh, but yeah, I like Christmas Kashina simply because... I mean, I, I'll, see, I'll show you guys... Um, there was a team that I wanted to do for Infinite Illusions Trial of... The Mystery one, I forgot, Heart, right? Um, that was Edo Mata with Christmas Kashina, which made... The team really powerful because uh, Christmas Kushina gives critical rate to the uh, your team whenever they use chakra, which could be really helpful for your position one. Uh, very, very, very helpful actually. Okay, uh, even more, yeah, very helpful actually, even for Tentil Zobito. Very helpful as long as you can keep her alive. That's the problem with her, yeah, that's the problem with her, but um, that's why I'm getting her in this. Like, okay, color banner was from last week, time limited shop. Oh, yeah, so Gamma, um, or Toast Chance Jiraiya. Uh, uh, you know, increasing your chase time by one. Yeah, this is good if you have a good position one ninja as usual, but this is the spenders one because it's a time limited shop. So um, I wouldn't bother getting his fragments as a free to play. Uh, but I Christmas Kushina, 
I mean, you're getting it from Fuku deals, but if you're going for six pass Nardo, I guess you can collect some from here, um, which are free fragments. Rage Obito is uh, it's fun in Arena, but he's not super duper uh, in, in anywhere else really. So, um, it, but yeah, the power items are usually the best one to go for for sure. Okay, fireworks festival was from last week. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so Taka Karn, hundred fragments, incredible. Um, we love it. Just you know, healing, healing, healing. And then some slow down in people, unable to re uh, get more shields and buffs. That, if you remember that Taka Karen has this effect, it will save you sometimes in these battles, especially when you have your other side has like shields and stuff or something like that. Um, you can do something like this. Taka Shagetsu is kind of nice. Getting him four stars is fine too. Um, so I like the wheel. The, the, the wheel's value in general is worse compared to Lucky Star, but. This is a contender if you want Taka Karen. Um, if you're, yeah, if you're going for that. Now for the points rewards, uh, there's all the treasure essence, cape keys, uh, pretty typical. Um, but then there's something interesting, which is Wheel of Fortune and yeah, Perfugation Break the Pill, eh, whatever. Secret Skull is nice though. Ninja Assist, Training Potions. That's the first part portion of it, and then they give a Susno Itachi, which is a really old strong ninja and at the moment he's useless okay maybe not useless but he's mostly useless almost completely useless compared to most of the other ninjas out here he's immune to status and has super armor um he has a chase that causes ignition for three rounds uh he has a chase that causes critical hit but he doesn't really have anything that gives him a lot of power um he has a control mystery that goes immediately for two rounds i think um but then it has a cooldown of four times. And he costs chaos for two rounds, which it's like extreme chaos without the chakra limit, I guess. Uh, it, it's just, it, he hit, okay, his standard attack hits everyone on the field, but he just doesn't have that much power. And I just don't see this happening um, as a meta at all, anywhere, really. Um, yeah, I just don't. I, he used to be good with Madara because Madara gives chakra whenever you use your mystery, so it was nice. But uh, okay, but the thing is, you know, the fact that they're on Kona's Great Tree um, in here in level seven at the highest level, the fact that they're suddenly putting it here, and then they're also gonna put it in Wheel of Fortune uh, here in points rewards. That is suspicious, and I'm thinking we might get breakthroughs at some point, you know, um, or even a bond skill or something at least. But like probably breakthroughs, even though I don't think I don't think they I, I don't think they're in China. Um, but you know our modes are different, right? English in China or you know Brazil, they're all sort of different, slight differences. Um, but his breakthroughs, I can't imagine what his breakthroughs would be, because. It feels like they've kind of reached the limit of his ability. So like his, maybe his bottom pass will be like uh, instead of just super armor and all and immune to all debuffs, he'll have level two de immune to debuffs, or maybe he'll have um, reflect all status effects, something like that. Um, high low, uh, his chase for high low ten combo ignition for three rounds. I don't know how much more you can add to that except ignition hits through immunity to status. Let's say that. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense because Amaterasu is incredibly powerful and goes through really any sort of defense. So, I mean, yeah, if you're able to hit through immunity to status. And then how about his repulse low critical hit chase? Like, what do you do with that? You know, maybe hit two times extra damage, but it won't really matter because he won't be a position one. Or maybe he'll gain some scaling or something. Yeah, that would make sense, I guess. Um, he has an attack that already hits an entire, everybody on, in the front column. So maybe he's going to hit everybody on the field. I, I wouldn't put it past them, right? Um, yeah, and I have no idea what they would put it as the mystery if they have breakthroughs. But this is so much ifs, you know? But it's really suspicious that they're putting it in Wheel of Fortune in the top rewards and Kona's Great Tree. Ooh, what's going on here? You know, it makes me wonder, even though it's not out in China. Or at least I don't think they're out in China. Lucky Stars. Okay, next. The best, uh, the best event here. Ashura Atatsuki, um, very nice. I I really want him just so that I don't have to deal with all these clones that are summoned in Infinite Illusions. Um, the the chase trial thing, because uh, he also gives you know increase the number of times you can 
get chases uh, for your entire entire team. That's kind of nice. He also reduces defensive resistance by 8% with his standard attacks. It's like a bit of a bonus. Um, and then he has evasion, which is kind of nice. Level 2 immunity debuffs, which is also pretty nice. And then he increases ninjutsu and resistance, which doesn't last, but at least it's something helpful. And then you get fragments of Tendil's Obito, which is awesome because he's the best ninja at the moment, or the most powerful position 1 ninja at the moment. Uh, I should say. In terms of the rewards, yeah. Um, Edo Modder is great, but it's not for everyone because he does cost a lot. Um, you know, if you guys want to take a look at how much he costs, go on to the descriptions. Uh, go and take a look at... Uh, go, to, go to this Discord link and then go to the event info um, here. Uh, just go to event info uh yeah here and you'll be able to see the calculations we're actually a day late compared to the gaming community because our bot uh, actually takes that information from the gaming community so if you want to be straight there just uh, look for the gaming community all right um but yeah edo Madara is quite nice running top is a yeah uh, okay so he still stand steal standard attacks irremovable blindness pretty awesome um though he's not useful for everything but uh, since Root of Warrior, the ability from Lightning Main is still able to activate after Edo Madara, um, you can actually, you know, give him 100% resistance and then use Edo Madara at the same time. And that's something I've been thinking about doing, though, uh, yeah, because that's sort of, sort of a support thing. But then there's also, okay, so New Year Tobirama, I, I considered getting him, but I, even with his um, ability change, his ability changed a bit. Uh, I think on the bottom, he was, like, getting initiative. He also gets stacking of attack and ninjutsu, which is, uh, great. And this is at the beginning of every round. Um, uh, everybody who, uh, wait, increase initiative, attack, and ninjutsu, and gives an extra standard attack for every unit currently suffering, suffering from flying thunder attack. This is more of a 3 versus 3 thing. Um, in 1 versus 1, he's kind of weak, uh, because that's a very tiny amount of scaling. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just not that good. But increasing initiative is nice, I suppose, if you're a support. Um, Nier Tobirama could help. Uh, and you can put him in position 1 and just reduce everyone's attack and ninjutsu, randomly hit people, uh, randomly hitting people is weird. His chase is not, um, unmissable, though, and that's one of the issues I have with him. Um, though, units attacking him will suffer from flying thunder tag, which will have their evasion rate decrease 25%, which is pretty big as a support. I guess you can run Root so he doesn't die so easily. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. In Neglects Immunity, I mean, he's a good support, but I actually do like uh, Swimsuit Minota more. Um, okay, well, I mean, it's situational. But Swimsuit Minota also has Flying Thunder deck, and that's... That's quite good, and he has a very specific thing. If you have 60 chakra, you can actually activate his chase, load load knockdown, and cause flying thunder tag, which lowers his chase. And then, um, uh, if your lineup's chakra is higher than 60, Minato will steal all standard attacks of that unit, which is, ooh, wow, right? Um, now, this will work against 6 pass. No, no, that's the first thought everyone has, I hope, um, because that's definitely the thing I'm looking into. And I'm like, okay. Then how does this work? How what ninjas should I throw out? And you know, after a while, I actually thought, hey, maybe I could turn Edo Yager into a meta. Um, Edo Yager breakthroughs actually increases his ninjas in attack by eighteen percent each time he chases. And so if you lower their uh, dodge rate, like Edo Yager causes low with his mystery, and Minato will chase it, and his chase never misses, and you can actually do it twice around. Now uh, Yager is three times around, so. Uh, you, you still need one more low knockdown if you want to maximize Edo Yagura's ninjutsu and attack, but you can actually technically steal Six Fast Naruto's attack over and over and over again, and it's kind of crazy. Now, Six Fast Naruto will be able to mystery every two rounds, but he won't be able to heal much, and that's, you know, a potential thing. The thing is, Minato, Sunsu Minato is not immune to status, um, so, yeah, and Edo Itachi hitting him would just end the end his career in a way, so, it's kind of risky, but it's also something I really want to try. So this is one of the ninjas I think I might get. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know if I would take him... I, I'm taking him over to Nier Tobirama, but in a 3 versus 3 setting, maybe, maybe not. All right. Um, 
simply because you know Toby Rama also has this the swordsman, so I can root him up and have him not die, and you know. Um, but Minato, that ability, man, is gonna be killing for sure. Okay. Um, wait, low knockdown, knockdown. Yeah, the, the, the low knockdown doesn't isn't doesn't interrupt. So, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Sega Skulls. Um, powerful. Yeah, do powerful animal optional pack. Unless you don't have, a, unless you have like extra stars. That's what this is for, and this is perfect. Um, they set this up perfectly. Okay. Lucky. You know, lucky star wheel. We are not at lack of good ninjas um, or interesting ninjas. Though, if you're going for super competitiveness, I suppose just go for power items, possibly. Um, Edo Madara is also there, but, you know, not everyone wants him. Okay, Kono's outlets, I usually don't even care, but it's interesting to have swimsuit Sai here. Uh, his dying stops people from getting standard attacks, but it doesn't say that it goes through immunity to status, which is a big deal, which means it won't work on 6 pass Naruto or most or a lot of other ninjas at least so um you know dying can be dispelled if the chakra is below 30 but i don't think you know he, he doesn't really have any defensive abilities i guess he can okay if we have a female unit then we can use some size bottom ability of lowering male units critical rate by 20 percent that would be a big deal but we don't really have that many powerful female units at the moment not even Chris, crazy kashina could you know justify using him yeah he, he'll just die pretty soon so it's pretty tough okay um but yeah the other stuff uh anything else i mean i don't see much else that wants taisho asuma also got his abilities changed but it's still not that great so so you could scroll plate i guess i guess if you're pretty far behind you guys can buy it just straight um not my recommendation no wait if you're missing a lot, then it is, I actually do recommend this, even though the discount reward thing in the reward section kind of sucks. Um, oh no, I mean, if you get all of them together, um, it's good, but then Christmas Kashina Fragment, a lot of people won't want be wanting him. You have to trade with people to get all six, and it's just a hassle, all right? But I think the reward actually here is not too bad. Fixed drops of Secret Skull Pages, Mantra Elixirs, Fragments. Okay, so this is good if you have someone else who can also draw with you an alternate account, for example, that's also friend with yourself. You can you can actually get some cards and you know, send it to yourself because you're always gonna like if you have six cards, um, you're gonna you're always gonna miss one. You're gonna need to trade with somebody to get that last card. Um, that's just how the system works, and it's stupid, but um, it, it is what it is. And then there's also the option of getting Rizoso Sonate. Um, if you get us 80, 80 fragments of her though, it's like thirty six thousand coupons. So you better have some extra fragments of her before you actually get her because it's going to spend more than Fuku is allowing you to. Uh, but yeah, you know, usually it's not good, but I guess if you really need the command flag, if you really need that secret plate, I guess it's good. Okay, recruitment, seal scrolls, maybe do 300. Oh, what? Ashura Atsuzuki. Okay. Now I have a reason to actually... Yeah, I... I am, I am going to wait until we get to 800 Seal Scrolls for Ashura Tatsuki. I hope they keep it this way because Edo Hashirama, while nice in for some teams, not that many teams, Ashura is much more usable here. Yeah, okay. Ashura Tatsuki, getting more free to play. I think I made a video about that, about that before too. Whew, okay, Char uh, Charm Packs, just do your 500. Um, everything else... Okay, some of my memories. I mean, you guys can try to get Sage Kabuto. I thought about getting Sage Kabuto. Um, I need 80 more fragments of him, but this event is just not that great. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll save him for next time. I, I just really want to try out that um, Christmas Minato. And so, you know, I think I'm probably just going to go for a Christmas Minato and um, Christmas Kashina, the pair. Now, Kono's Great Tree, the last event, the second best event at the moment. We're going to look at the trees here. Um, pretty good power items. You know, Rain Rainbow Magatama's not bad. Milkaboo is not so much, but it's on level 2 tree. Um, this one's also Milkaboo. Okay, I don't like that too much, but Epic Refines. Perfection Break Repels. Eh, kind of hard to say. Takasa Getsu is good, though, Rainbow. It's mediocre at the moment. Um, it's level 5. If you're not getting Christmas Kushina in your Fuku deals, then I guess it's good. Greninja Obito as well. Um, training potions and cave keys. 
it's all right. Um, some power items are in the middle. Now you get a level six. Um, Hokage's successor here is in. I, uh, when Kono's in, see, if the ability continues after his death, then I would consider getting him in the long term. Like 15% at risk of round for 10 rounds. But if he dies, and yeah. So, yeah, you know, he's fine, but it's not like the first thing you want to go for. He's like a special case. Uh, Minato's great. Yeah, Chikisoto. Eh. And then you have this one refine. It's all right. And then over here, you have really good Tendo Zobito. You have really good um, to Toast Chance Jiraiya. Um, all very good ninjas for... Oh, wait, what? Great tree item optional pack? Command flag. Ooh. Okay, cave keys or Milka Boost. I don't know why they put purple on the cave keys. I would prefer command flags over that, but yeah. Um, maybe you have too many command flags or something. Uh, Susan Itachi. I'm just... Yeah, Susan Itachi probably has some break users here and there. Okay, fortunes store uh but you know just saying eh level 7 tree i guess 50,000 6,000 60,000 coupons is fine all right minato um i think a lot of people will be turned off by the ninja selection but you do have a lot of power items and i think they've increased yeah you'll definitely have enough time to get through all this of course the point rewards is the same it's just a lot of command flags which I kind of think, I was thinking about getting like up to a thousand and get these lucky stars. But then I realized, oh, hey, um, my lucky wheel level is going to be really low. And then that means all my value is going to go down. So, um, you know, I was tempted, but yeah. Uh, I like the bells here, though. The Palo Chimes purple. Um, experimental production models, which is kind of rare. Uh, oh, got two of them. Wish they would give me more of those in the 250 range. But, but yeah, these guys are more rare. <laughs> Jeez, whenever there's a experimental protection vial ninja out like we want these more than we want advanced protections almost no maybe even more just simply because of how rare they are <sighs> like I'm, I'm, i want to like break through this ninja but it's like oh i'm out and i can't even buy it from the store <sighs> but yeah um all the command flags i like the point rewards but yeah it's just a matter about if you want to get the ninjas if you want to get the power items though I, I really just highly recommend you just go lucky uh lucky wheel because they have better value in general. Um, but yeah, okay. So I have a sort of a plan here. Um, let's go over here to my plan here. And I kind of outline all my options. And then I'll tell you why I picked what I am going to do. And I'm going to put music over my spending part. All right. Uh, 30k for Christmas, Kashina, Fuku plan-ish. Uh, this is the power route. So if I do power, we're going to do Lucky Wheel. Um... Lucky Wheel, 30k, massive FB refines. That's really simple, right? Uh, but it's, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be fun, so I decided to, you know, not do that. Uh, 1B Kono's Great Tree. See how many fragments of Christmas Kushino you can get from level 5 tree, then switch it out with some Fuku to 6 past Naruto. Okay, so here's the thing. My account here, um, I do have 6 past Naruto fragments. Not He's not 3 stars yet, but he's pretty close. And so if I try to get like 80 fragments of him right now um i won't be able to get him four stars that's a problem right um so i decided to go for christmas kashina and then you know the reason i have success don't have success naruto yet because i always went for edo madara just to try him out and he was pretty decent um in terms of kashina though i have zero fragments but i'll just max out kashina but the, if i do go for kona's great tree though um i'll probably just you know at level five tree here we're gonna have a uh, we're going to have uh, some fragments, and then I guess I can, like, take away five fragments or something from level five tree. And then I can put another five towards six past Naruto so they can get him three stars. That's kind of my plan, um, but that's if I do Kona's Great Tree, all right? So, yeah. All right, so uh, next thing. Let's see. We're going to see Kona's Great Tree. Yeah, get some Ninja Assistance, Secret Scrolls. I can, I, I, I can max that out, but it's still better to get Lucky Wheel, so I won't. Ninja Root. So this is if I want ninjas. I thought about getting success, Successor Heroes in, because he's not too bad. Um, he's, he can make some teams really interesting. I think he was also in Fuku, right? So um, he's technically free to play now. Uh, and you can get the rest in power. Yeah, he seems a bit expensive, though. Uh, 
How I I don't know exactly. Oh, it's right. I, I put it down here. Uh, so I'm gonna guess twenty thousand coupons for him. That's not too bad, but he's also not the number one choice you want to get so far. Um, I thought about getting him, but like I realized I have Edomada as my position one. If I pull him in, pull him in, and he's increasing attack, but Edomada heals with Ninjutsu, then eh, it's not that good. I mean, it'll deal slightly more damage, but it's not that great. So. Um, it's not a good fit. Now, I thought about newer Tobirama because he had new skills in the scaling, I think. But, no, he's not that worth it. I thought about, okay, so Christmas, I really want to try this team, which is why I think I'm going to go for this, uh, particularly. Christmas Minato. Um, I want to use him with Edo Yagura. Um, just, you know, Edo Yagura has this scaling ability that I, and he also heals himself. He's also mean to status and all that stuff. So, um, that's kind of nice. Like, Yagura... Um, I have him somewhat broken through. I guess if I do any breakthroughs, it would be for Yagura um, to increase even more of his breakthroughs. But yeah, he has a uh, knockdown low. It decreases defense, which basically means decreasing 4% uh, resistance of defense, which is not a big deal, but you're mul doing this multiple times. He's, inter he's interrupting. Um, you can switch to the plus two, which only deals 20% more damage and acupuncture, but doesn't, skip, doesn't uh, reduce defense. Or you can do this. Um, and his passive is, you know, whenever a ninja launches a chase, his mystery cool, uh, cooldown is reduced by one. He has a mystery cooldown of three, though, so you have to do this at least two times in a round. But he also increases a ninja's in attack by 18%, so it's like a 36% average, perhaps. Possibly 50... Uh, I can't do math right now. 18 times 3 is 54, right? Yeah. Um, so 54% is pretty good. It's pretty decent. It's similar to 6 pass Naruto, except our goal is to, you know, take out 6 pass Naruto. Um, he also his um, he also expresses super armor, right? So it's kind of nice with this mystery there. Uh, but it depends on whether Edo Yagura. I mean, if you're fighting another Edo Madara, um, Edo Madara will have level two super armor. So it depends on who's faster. Um, if you go against Obito, and no, Obito will still win for sure. Yeah. So it's not like a meta against Obito, but um, it's good against Six Pass Naruto at least. So. And the unspotted passive, he re receives 25% of his life based on his own ninjutsu, which is great, right? Um, he's also immune to debuffs. He does not have any dodge or super armor, so um, he will get hit, maybe suppress immunity, but uh, at the very least, he can fight against Six Pass Naruto, and you could probably run like a status reflect for him. That's my thought. I just wanted to try him, and um, that's why I'm trying to get him. Okay, um, the, for the rest here... Uh, Let's see. Swimsuit Sai. No, I already went over that. Rizal So Sonate. That would be boring. Like, the video will be over in, like, 30 seconds. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's not a bad move to get Rizal So Sonate because I have 20 fragments of her, something like that. But I, I just want to try something new. All right, guys. So, that's... This is the reason I'm going to go for Christmas Minato. Um, so basically, we're going to go for Christmas Minato and Christmas Kashina um, at the same time. Christmas Kashina is just, I want her for Trial of Strength. Um, yeah, I just want her for Trial of Strength. You guys can see that um, 185 uh, in my ranking for... So I'm, I'm ranked 13th right now with this account, but my weaker account is ranked 11th with like 5,000 5, 5, K more damage. Um, simply because my uh, 181, my weaker account has Christmas Kushina, uh, that beat out any other, that beat out any other team I tried, including Ryder Jiraiya in this chase, and uh, also that'll be helpful for natures, for sure. Okay, guys, um, I think that's it. I get, I'm also thinking about making a how to use Christmas Kushina video, so let me know if you guys want to try that, and yeah, let's get to the spending. you to come back uh, Got a few little things that I borrow Drink without me tonight, I'll be there again So won't you Take a sip for me Even though I'm home tonight So, so won't you Take some pictures, please Show. 
music got me elevated. Call me for the next night. Know you're feeling tired. Well, I got a place to sleep. I won't be needing it anyway. Been away for a week now. Searching with a stage light. Always girl, I aim high. Hoping that I see you dancing. Girl, forget the stage fright. Never take a day off. Work till I get laid off. Building debt to build a dream. I'll sleep until it's paid off. No one be there tomorrow. So won't you take a sip for me? Shelter in the storm I'm hiding in the blue Safe between the clouds In the blue Where I can't be found Was a soldier in the legions Fought against the demons Fought against the monsters made of gold But they stormed across Arcadia Following the nature Washed away the place I once called home I'm hiding in the blue
between the clouds in the blue
Cause we got scared when it got darker at night Cause everyone was missing safety lights So we tried to use a flashlight as a guide And now I'm standing in an overcrowded train Picturing the times we had as children while the rain is pouring down
days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now. So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. Cause I need to learn to forget everything that drags me down. I need to forget everything. Everything inside me now 